Hello guys, um, today I'm, uh, I'm programming a spare key for a BMW um, X5, it's a 2010 E70 model uh, which has a, uh, it's a CAS free module, it's a CAS free plus and the processor is uh, 0L, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 0L15Y which you can you can read it on the processor by the way i've got the uh, i'm going i'm going to be using vvdi uh, 2 and vvdi pro for this car um, um i have already set it up on the bench and uh, i have already read the ee prom and the flash and saved it on my laptop just in case if anything goes wrong so uh, but the but to program the key we only need the ee prom but I always read and save the flash just in case if anything goes wrong so we have the EEPROM saved on my laptop. So what we do, uh, we close this window. We connect our VVDI2. It is connected. Run the software. BMW. Wait for the software to come up. The yes. Okay, there is a sorry, my phone is just ringing. Um, this uh, we have uh, so basically there's updates on the VVDI2 and I need to update it. So I'm not gonna update it now, I'm just gonna update it later. By the way, we carry on to uh, KeyLearn. So this is how we do, we uh, program a spare key on a CAS free, CAS free plus module. You can do this through OBD as well, but you, um, it's always safer to do it on the bench. And if you want to do it on the, through OBD, I, I recommend not to do it with VVDI2. You can use um, AutoHex, AutoHex is it's, it's a safe tool to do through OBD. Um, I could do it with AutoHex, but I just wanted to make this video, so I've done it on the bench. So we go to File, Make Key, Cas3 Plus, which is right, Load EE Prom Dump File, BMW E70 EE Prom, open the file. So there's, there's three keys programmed to this car, so we're going to program another car. We use key six. We press make delay key. Have a working key. Insert working key and program. Program and continue. This is the working key. Put it inside the programmer. Next. Please put new key into the programmer. So this is the new key inside the programmer. Okay. Is the new key have keyless? If press yes, no. Please have the new EEPROM dump file. Press okay. Continue. Okay. We we save this. I will save it on the BBB. Um, you never need to write this. Uh, if you got a okay. Uh, listen to this please flash the new cas ee prom dump into the car then use the new dealer key start the engine if cas belongs to istap4 version don't write the new dump back to the cas okay this is this the, the, the tool advises us not to do it and you should not if you have a cas free plus you should never write it back write the new dump back to the cast because the car will never start and you damage the flash inside the cast so this is all you need to do that's it okay and now this key will start the car that's it this is all it's very easy very simple to use vvdi2 and vvdi pro to program a spare key into cast free and um, the uh, the only thing is you just you just need to take the cast out from the car and do some soldering jobs 
and uh, take the solders off, put it back on the car. That's it. It's, it takes to take it off and doing the soldering. It takes maximum 10 to 15 minutes after two, three times of you doing it. And um, uh, that's it really. And uh, I want to make another video for uh, all keys lost using VVDI 2 and VVDI Pro to make a key for the for cast free cast free plus it's possible to do but it's uh, it's a longer process but it's still possible to do and um, and that's it thank you very much thanks for watching